Hey guys, my name's Wes, and you're watching Wes Sickles TV, and today I'm reviewing The Fifth Wave. Now, The Fifth Wave is a young adult sci-fi teen drama type movie that stars Chloe Grace Moretz. And I'm going to start with my positives. Chloe Grace Moretz is solid in this film. We've seen it throughout her career in a variety of roles that she is capable of doing just about anything to a pretty good degree. And she does that in this film. She is a good emotional center for this film. I feel like whenever she's on screen, I was at least semi-interested. So it's a huge plus. I also really liked the first half an hour, 35 minutes of this movie. I thought that showing her life before any of this stuff happened was a great thing. I thought that the character itself, her friends, I would have been interested in watching a story completely unrelated to what this movie was about, just about this girl's normal life, because it had a solid little setup. And then as the first couple waves begin, it's working for me. I'm like, okay, that's interesting. What's going to happen next? The next wave happens. That's interesting. They show more of it's close to her, and then they show a little bit further out in the world and what's happening. And I'm sitting here watching the scene. There's an earthquake followed by tsunamis all across the world that I thought, you know, Roland Emmerich would have loved. I thought it was a really fun scene. I thought they did a good job of that scene. At this point, I'm thinking, this is a pretty good movie. I'm enjoying myself. Shortly after that, though, it kind of falls into a lull of stuff we've seen several times before. Basically, after that 35-minute point, the teens and children are now going to be the new military because it's something to do with how it's easier to make sure they're not the aliens than the adults. And then there's cues. Like, there's a separation. You're following that story, and you're following Chloe Grace Moretz's story. And hers becomes, very quickly, uh, there's a love interest, and she's trying to get to her brother, but there's this love stuff going on here. And I felt a lot of interest in that stuff. Like, her character, I was still like, okay, yeah, she's holding my attention, but this story around her solely was getting pretty boring. The military stuff wasn't all that interesting itself. They could have done a much better job on that side to keep me interested there. And the movie just kind of continues that way through the rest of the film. Now, there's a pretty decent-sized twist towards the end, but it's one of those movies that so obvious what's going to happen. About five minutes after that whole section of the film started, I kind of was mad. like, this is what's going to happen. And then it happened. And that's a huge bummer for me. I like to be surprised. I like to have interest in what's going on in the movie and not be able to guess what's going to happen because it's so generic. In the end, its genericness is what destroys anything preventing this film from being good in like a lot of respects. It's not going to be a 7 because I felt like I've seen it before in several films recently. And because of that, I have to give the 5th wave like a 5, almost a 6th wave out of 10. I feel like Clare Christmas was good. The first half an hour was solid, enjoyable, but everything after that was pretty boring. But that's just my opinion. I want to know yours. Let me know in the comments section down below. Why did I look like button right over here? Click subscribe right over here. If you want to get more of my reviews, there's a link right there. You can follow me on Twitter at WesNichols14. You can share me on social media with any of my videos. It helps me out a lot. Thanks for watching. My name is Wes. You're watching Wes Nichols. So you have a great night. Bye.